In this video, I'm going to talk about how I built up my toy collection. I don't have money. I'm not rich. How I got this collection is relatively simple. I bought them cheap. That's it. I bought most of them cheap. If that's enough for you, you can stop watching now, or you can stick around for the rest of the video to find out more. I was born in 1973. My childhood was the 1980s. When other kids stopped playing with action figures, I kept buying them. Throughout the 1980s, the 1990s, the 2000s, up to today. But I didn't have money. So when I found a toy on clearance, I bought it. Even if I didn't want it, even if I didn't need it, even if I didn't know what it was, if it was cheap, I bought it. And even if I opened it, which is most of my toys, I still kept it in the original package because I knew that in the package, even opened, it would still be worth more someday than a loose figure tossed in a toy bin. So let's go through some of these toys. First, let's start with the clearance items. I bought 1989 Toy Biz Batman at Walmart on clearance for just $2. Keep in mind, this was probably around 1990 when I bought this, so don't go running out to Walmart expecting to load up on them. You're about 30 years too late. 1992 Kenner Aliens Power Loader. Original price, $10.94. I found it on clearance at Walmart for 4 1994 Hasbro Stargate movie Mustache Animal. Mast mastage? Mastage? Ma mustache. Must ma ma mastage? Ma 1994 Hasbro Stargate movie Mustache Animal. On clearance, 388 1999 Star Wars Power of the Force Comtech Chip Luke Skywalker on clearance at Walmart, $3. 1993 Hasbro G.I. Joe Cobra Scorpion bought on clearance, $3.50. 1998 Toy Biz Xena Callisto action figure on clearance at Osco's, $4. 1990 Hasbro G.I. Joe Battlecopter on clearance at Walmart for $3.50. The figure packed inside it alone was worth $3.50. I don't watch Duck Dynasty, but I picked up these two Duck Dynasty figures about six months apart from each other. The first one, Willie, was on clearance at Walmart for just $2. Of course, it was the only one I could find, or I would have bought all of them, even duplicates. This seems to be common. Whenever I find a figure on clearance, I usually only find just one. The second figure, Psy, was at a Salvation Army for just $0.99. Cents. He was still sealed in the plastic bubble that I think was taped or stapled shut, but was missing the card back. Because the card backs were all the same, when I did my two unboxing videos of these, I just put the Psy figure in the Willy package so I can make both videos. Did anybody notice? Did anybody care? My Star Trek Cadet Deanna Troy figure I found at Target on clearance for just $2.44. It was a good deal at the time. The internet didn't exist yet, so I had no way of knowing that 20 years later, I would end up with 16 of these. Thanks, eBay! Star Trek's Dixon Hill Dr. Crusher cost me just $2 on clearance at Walmart. Again, don't go running out to Walmart thinking you can buy one. I bought this during the Clinton administration. Starfleet Academy Cadet Picard, $5. Picard disguised as a Romulan, Walmart clearance, $4. Kirk in a spacesuit, 360. Dr. Soon, 350. Dress uniform Ben Sisko, $3. Jake Sisko, $3. Dr. Bashir on clearance at KB Toys, $2.99. Deep Space Nine Jadzia Dax in a next generation uniform on clearance at Spencer's Gifts, $2.96. As was Q in a Deep Space Nine uniform. Star Trek Voyager figure from the episode where Tom Paris beat Warp 10, got turned into a lizard, and mated with Captain Janeway, on clearance at Target, $2.84. Jim Adar, on clearance for $2.00. As was Star Trek Voyager Seska. Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan Lieutenant Savick. Star Trek Voyager Klingon Bellana Torres. Dr. Pulaski. And this Odo that was bought on clearance for just $2.00 at a store called Venture. And Venture does not exist anymore. Deep Space Nine Cisco on clearance at Target, $1.84. As was Cardassian Seska. And Series Finale Data. 
and Worf's brother Kern. Star Trek Generations Captain Picard on clearance, 97 cents. As was Star Trek Generations Worf, Star Trek Generations Riker, Star Trek Generations Guinan, Star Trek Generations Kirk, and Star Trek Generations Pirate Worf. Star Trek The Original Series Shuttlecraft with exclusive Captain Kirk figure on clearance for $15.98. The figures were selling for about $5 in the stores, so this was like getting the shuttlecraft for just $11. The Star Trek Original Series boxed set of seven figures. Original price at Spencer's Gifts, $69.99. I bought it on clearance at Spencer's Gifts for $29.96. That averaged to $4.28 a figure, and you can only get these figures in this boxed set. 1994 Playmate Star Trek Starfleet Officers Collector Set. Original Toys R Us price $29.99, bought on clearance for $14.98. Star Trek First Contact Action Figures, on clearance $3 for $10 at KB Toys. Barbie's Little Sister Stacy Bicycle, I found it on clearance for $3.00. I bought this Exo Squad figure on clearance. Don't remember where and I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was just a few dollars. Or I would not have bought it. Probably. The Bots Master Ziv Zoolander. Yes, kids, this is a real toy. Original price $7.99. Bought on clearance at Big Lots for $1.99. I painted this guy and I have no idea where all the pieces are. Hasbro 1992 Transformers Generation 2 Starscream. On clearance for $7.50. They had one or two other Generation 2 Decepticon jets, but I only had money for one, so I bought the one that I knew, that everyone knew, Starscream. Baseball action figure of Ivan Rodriguez. On clearance at Walmart for just a dollar. I don't know if he's related to Chai Chai Rodriguez. I got these two Star Wars figures in an eBay lot with other figures, so the price came down to just the three or four dollars each. But as you can see on the price tag, someone else bought these on clearance for just $3.99 at a store called Value City. Star Wars Power of the Force Detention Block Rescue Playset. I bought it on clearance, I don't know where and I don't know how much, but it was probably around $6. After Christmas 2018, Dollar General was trying to get rid of their old toys with an incredible buy one get two free deal. Three Star Wars The Force Awakens action figures, originally $8 each, now just $8 total. I bought one for $8, got the other two for free, and of course they only had three. So this came out to $2.67 each. A second 2015 Star Wars The Force Awakens 9 num on clearance for just $0.98. Cents. Someone gave this to me, so I don't know where it came from. Dollar General Brave Knights 2-Pack. Buy one, get two free. Original price, $2. I bought every one they had. All six of these cost me a total of $4. The same Dollar General Buy One, Get One Free sale where they were trying to get rid of old toys. I bought this Army doll for $6 and got the second Army doll for free. But since they didn't have a third doll, I had to get something else of equal or lower value. So I got this toy gun marked $5.00. But for me, it was free. Altogether, $6. My Life As Posable Doll Stand. Original Walmart price, $19.97. Bought on clearance at Walmart for $5. I bought this Magic the Gathering figure on eBay, but just as you can see, the previous owner bought it on clearance for $4.99 at a store called Ross. 1994 Hasbro G.I. Joe Sergeant Savage with VHS videotape. Original Kmart price was $4.99, on clearance for $3.50. The VHS tape is lying around somewhere. Whenever I find the tape, I couldn't find the figure. When I found the figure, I couldn't find the tape. They'll meet up again someday. The figure is dated 1994. The receipt that was stuck inside the package said I bought it in July 1995, so it had to have been sitting in stores for about a year before it was marked down. Star Wars 23-inch Kite, on clearance at Walmart, 75 cents. This Titan AE figure was bought on clearance. I don't remember where, probably Walmart, and I probably only paid a few dollars for it. I never seen the movie, I don't know who he is, but it was a new sealed action figure cheap, so yeah, I bought it. Boxed set of Star Wars Cantina Aliens, on clearance at Walmart for just six dollars. 
Of course, it was the only one they had. The Emperor, on clearance at Kmart, two ninety nine. dollars Grand Moff Tarkin, on clearance at Kmart, also two ninety nine. dollars Star Wars Episode One Qui-Gon Jinn. The clearance tag says three ninety nine, dollars but the other clearance tag that's been ripped off showed I paid less than that. One of the Princess Leia's Black Series, on clearance at Walmart, $4.00. 2016 Hasbro Avengers Black Widow on clearance at Walmart four dollars and again they only had one once upon a time I got Swamp Thing villain Dr. Demo on clearance at I think Walmart I don't remember how much I paid for it but it was just a few dollars I never saw the cartoon never really cared about Swamp Thing but I would not have paid full price for this when full price would have got me something else that I would rather have had 1990 Kenner Swamp Thing Swamp Trap Playset. Original price $13.99. I bought it on clearance for just $1.75. I know you hate me. I know you do. $1.75. I know you hate me. 1992 Hasbro G.I. Joe Ghost Striker X16. I found it on clearance for $9.88. 2008 Jack's Pacific WWF Mr. Kennedy action figure on clearance at Walmart for just a dollar. And again, they only had one. 1994 Trend Masters Electronic Godzilla on clearance for five dollars. The battery lasted a decade. 2002 Star Wars Padme Amidala and Django Fett. Original Kmart price, $5.49 each. Bought with some kind of a buy one get one free or 50% off sale or something. If you haven't figured it out yet, I don't pay full price for my toys. 1996 Trend Masters Independence Day Attack Alien 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 Attack 1996 Trend Masters Independence Day Alien Attack Pilot on clearance at Walmart for just two dollars. Laura Croft Tomb Raider at Spencer's Gifts. Regular price was $16.99, now 50% off, which brought the price down to $8.50. Bought with a Spencer's gift card I bought on eBay for maybe 65% of face value. This figure now costing me a total of about $5.50. Hasbro 2013 two-figure set of Guardians of the Galaxy. Regular price $6.99. Bought at a Kmart that was closing where everything was marked 50% off. $3.50. 1997 Trend Masters Lost in Space movie Professor John Robinson. On clearance at Walmart for $3. The package is empty, but I'm sure he's lying around somewhere waiting to be found. G.I. Joe Overkill, bought on clearance. I don't remember where, I don't remember how much, but you can see the clearance tag has been removed to see what the original price was underneath. G.I. Joe Viper, on clearance at Walmart for $2. The clearance tag was on the plastic bubble. I had peeled it off and stuck it on the now empty card. G.I. Joe Zap. On clearance at a store called Jack's. You can't see it, but the tag on the left shows I bought it marked down for $2.50. I do need to point out that it was marked down because it had been opened and all the accessories were missing. It only included the figure and the sound effects backpack. A similar thing happened to G.I. Joe Road Pig. Also bought on clearance at Jack's. Marked down to just $1.00 because it had been opened and the figure was missing. All that was there was the accessories and the sound effect backpack. They actually had two of these the same way. I bought them both. If you're into G.I. Joe, you might want to watch my 18 minute video where I discovered hidden sound effects built inside these G.I. Joe Sonic Fighters backpacks. G.I. Joe Cobra Earthquake Vehicle. Original Kmart price, $17.93. Bought on clearance for $9. 2018 Mattel Harry Potter 12 inch Ron Weasley doll. On clearance at Walmart for just $5. And again, it was the only one they had. Star Wars Clone Trooper costume. On clearance at Walmart, $3. I don't think it will fit me though. Sneak preview figure of Star Wars Episode One On clearance at Target, $3.74. The battle droid figure it came with was worth $3.74. Star Wars Episode One: Qui-Gon Jinn and Giant Fish. On clearance at Walmart for just $3. The figures alone were selling for more than $3. 1993 Hasbro G.I. Joe Street Fighter Movie Devastator. Which is basically a purple G.I. Joe snowcat. 
Original price $13.97 at a store called K's Merchandise. Marked down on clearance for $6.97. Star Wars Comic Book 2 Pack Hasbro 2007. On clearance at Walmart for $7. And they only had one. 2015 Mattel Airplane Pilot Barbie. I found it on clearance at Walmart for $4. They had a whole shelf full of them, but I only bought one. A few months before Toys R Us announced they were closing, they had a buy one get one 50% off Star Wars toy sale, including clearance items. So I bought this Toys R Us exclusive Star Wars The Force Awakens First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter with Pilot. I believe it was a Toys R Us exclusive because it had sand painted on its wings. It was marked down on clearance to $7.99, but with the buy one get one 50% off, the second TIE Fighter was only $3.99. The figures alone were selling for $3.99. So then I bought a third one for $7.99 and a fourth one for 50% off at $3.99. This makes all four TIE Fighters a total of $24, which, divided by four TIE Fighters, averages out to just $6 each. I know you hate me. I know it. Congo, the movie action figures. On clearance at KB Toys, three for five dollars. G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra mini figures. On clearance for two dollars. And they only had one. Star Wars Escape the Death Star action figure game. With two exclusive action figures. On clearance at Walmart for fifteen dollars. 1992 Hasbro G.I. Joe Mega Marines Monster Blaster APC. On clearance at the drugstore Osco's for $7.99. The Shadow Movie Serpent Bike Motorcycle. On clearance for $1.90. It sat on the shelf in my basement in the opened box unplayed with for two decades. Yet thanks to brittle gold plastic syndrome, the entire front of the motorcycle is shattered into pieces. Tyco Radio Controlled Python Race Car. A giant snake head pops up out of the car and it shoots water out of it. Original Walmart price, nearly $59. I found it on clearance for $10. The terrible Jar Jar Abrams 2009 Star Trek movie Captain Kirk figure, on clearance for $348. Hasbro G.I. Joe Star Brigade Armor Bot, original Walmart price, $28.96. Bought on clearance at Walmart for $25. I saved $4. Bucks. 1994 Tiger Electronics Battle Vision action figure playset. Regular Kmart price, $63.99. Bought on clearance at Kmart, $25. Here's the back of the box if you're curious as to what this thing is. You ready for this? I went to Kmart and I found on clearance this Kmart exclusive Star Wars 4 figure collector set in a tin can. I don't know why they put action figures in a tin can, but they did. The figures are elsewhere, so I'm showing you the empty box. Regular price $34.99, on clearance for $26. Now, the same time I found this, I found this G.I. Joe Cobra Legion's 5-figure boxed set. Regular price $30.19. I thought $30.19 was an odd number, but that's what it was. Now on clearance for $23. So that's $26 and $23, which would total $49. And then, oh my god, Kmart had a sale. All clearance toys 50% off. So the $26 Star Wars 4-figure set is now $13. And the $23 G.I. Joe 5-figure set is now $11.50. Making the total now $24.50. Several months earlier, I had bought a $25 Kmart gift card on eBay for like 40% of its value. Because the person selling it was in a foreign country and it was probably bought with a stolen credit card or something. So nobody was bidding on it. Well, I bought that gift card and I used those printed numbers to buy a new Kmart gift card with all new numbers so it couldn't be canceled on me in case it was a scam. So I bought these two boxed sets of five G.I. Joe and four Star Wars figures for $24.50 with a $25 gift card that only cost me about $11 on eBay. God bless America. And of course, they only had one. Each. The Ultimate Soldier 12-inch doll action accessory set. On clearance at KB Toys for $3.99. I got it on eBay for less than that with combined shipping with other items. With this set, I can fix every doll I have that's missing a hand. Well, except maybe Luke Skywalker. 
Luke Skywalker 12 inch doll bought on clearance for $7.70. Emperor Palpatine 12 inch doll also bought on clearance for $7.70. 12 inch scale Anakin Skywalker doll bought on clearance at Walmart for $3. 12 inch scale R5D4 bought on clearance at Walmart $5. 12 inch scale R2D2 bought on clearance at Walmart $5. I bought this 1994 Star Trek Generations Captain Picard doll on clearance at Spencer's Gifts. The clearance price tag says it was marked down from $22.99 to $14.96. But $14.96 is like regular price for other stores, and I would not have paid $15 for this. So I believe I bought it when there was a percentage off the clearance items. I probably paid less than $10 for it. And as a toy collector in the 1990s, I knew that female figures were produced in less numbers, so the fact that I have Picard and not Dr. Crusher or Counselor Troy tells me they didn't have those two dolls in that store, or I would have bought them instead. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas Mount Crumpet Sled with Santa Grinch and Cindy Lou Who by Playmates Toys. Bought on clearance at Walmart for $3. And of course, they only had one. 1988 Hasbro G.I. Joe Phantom X-19 Stealth Fighter, regular price $26.61, bought on sale price $19.95. I saved 7 bucks. 31 inch tall Jax Pacific Star Wars The Force Awakens First Order Stormtrooper, original price $34.99, on clearance at Target $12.06. 31 inch tall giant size Jax Pacific Star Wars Darth Vader, original price $29.99, on clearance at Target $14.98. I found this George Burns doll at Toys R Us. Actually, I found three. The boxes were beat up because while they were dated 1997, the receipt that was stuck in one of the boxes showed I bought them in June 2000, meaning they got tossed around on a Toys R Us shelf for three years by people not buying them. The price tag on each of the boxes shows the original price was $19.99. And while the clearance tag shows them marked down to $10, the receipt actually shows I bought all three for just $2 each. All three of these cost me a total of just $6. I still don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I have them. Where else am I going to get a microphone? I could always use the bodies and clothes for customizing, he even came with a cigar. Where else are you going to get a cigar in scale with a doll? They're certainly not going to give Barbie a cigar. Not in today's politically correct climate. 1990 G.I. Joe Hasbro Ice Saber. Original Kmart price $10.97. Found on clearance for $8.23. Spider-Man Black Cat Action Figure. On clearance at Walmart for $3.00. It contained a Spider-Man peel-off sticker, which I sold on eBay for about $3, which means I got this for free. 1990 Hasbro G.I. Joe Brawler. Original Kmart price $17.97. I found it on clearance for $13.48. I saved for $50. Star Wars Princess Leia and R2-D2 2-Pack. Original price $11.99. Bought on clearance for $7.10. 1997 Kenner Star Wars Max Rebo Band 2 pack with Max Rebo and D D D David Bogdanovich. I found it on clearance at Walmart for just $5. And of course, they only had one. 2013 Mattel Barbie Astronaut Spacesuit. Bought on clearance at Walmart for $3. As both a science fiction fan and a toy collector, I am not going to pass up a chance to get spacesuits for 12 inch dolls. So I bought all three they had. And a bikini one too. Return of the Jedi C-3PO Action Figure Collector Case. It holds 65 figures. Original price $24.97. I found it at KB Toys a couple of years after the movie was released. Maybe around 1987? While the original price was on the outer cardboard, the clearance price was on the plastic wrap that the case was in, probably to protect the chrome from getting scratched up. So I can't show you the clearance price because the plastic wrap is gone now, but I found it on clearance sitting on the bottom shelf for just $1.49. I know you hate me. I know you do. 
A dollar forty-nine. I know you hate me. My mom hated me too when I bought two of these. These cases are huge, and I had to carry this big, huge bag around with me all throughout the mall. The best day ever. I opened one to put my figures in, while the other remained sealed in plastic. They both survived the basement getting flooded in 1993, but then in 2013 the basement got flooded again with rainwater, and this time rain had gotten inside the sealed one, and I had to open it, which is why I can't show you the clearance price tag on either of them, because the plastic wrap had to be removed and opened to see how much damage was done to it. A dollar forty-nine each, plus tax. Altogether, both C-3PO cases cost me about three dollars. I know you hate me. I know it. But all I did was bought clearance toys and not threw them away. You can do that too. 2004 G.I. Joe comic book action figure 3 pack of Duke, Destro, and Roadblock. On clearance for $4.98. G.I. Joe comic book action figure 3 pack of Baroness, Cobra Commander, and a Cobra Trooper. Dated 2004, the receipt stuck in the package shows I bought it on clearance for $5 in 2005. 2003 G.I. Joe Zartan, Dusty, and Shipwreck. Each comes with a CD that plays two different episodes of the 1980s cartoon. No, not a DVD, but a CD-ROM that plays on the computer. I bought these on clearance at Walmart for somewhere around $3 each. Two G.I. Joe 2 packs consisting of Dr. Link Talbot, Cobra Commander, Bomb Strike, and Croc Master. I found these at Big Lots in a buy one get one free 2 pack for just five ninety nine. That's just two dollars a figure. The package was dated 2005 and the receipt I kept inside it shows I bought it in January 2006 so these had to have been out for less than one year. G.I. Joe 50th Anniversary 2 Packs. Lady J and Baroness, Snow Job and an Arctic Battle Android Trooper, and Blowtorch and a Heat Viper. These are dated 2014. I found these on clearance at Toys R Us in February 2015 for $9.98 each. I bought these with Toys R Us gift cards I won for free doing TV surveys on the now gone Reward TV survey website. So essentially I got these for free, although it took me months to do the surveys to get those gift cards. 1993 Playmate Sequest DSV action figures of Captain Bridger, Commander Ford, Security Chief Crocker, and Lucas Wallencheck. On clearance at Venture for just $2 each. And Venture does not exist anymore. I found Dr. Z on clearance at Walmart for $3. During Black Friday 2012, Walmart sold these 8 packs of Star Wars and Avengers action figures. These were leftover surplus from the toy company and they bundled them in random lots of 8 stuck together on a giant cardboard. The Star Wars ones had different figures from different Star Wars lines. I bought one set of Clone Wars figures because this was the only one I could find in which I had none of the eight characters in any form. Eight action figures for $25 comes to just $3.13 a figure. I should have bought hundreds of dollars worth, but I only had money to buy one. American Defense Toys by Rimco was a cheap G.I. Joe scale action figure line from the 1980s. I got all of these at Kmart. The attack trike is dated 1987 and was marked down to just one dollar. The 1988 Sky Raider was also marked down to just one dollar. While the 1988 Jet Streak and Road Raider were both marked down to two seventy-five each. All of this was just seven fifty. I know you hate me. I know it. 1987 Captain Power Power on Energizer on clearance at KB Toys for a dollar ninety-seven. When I fought as a kid to get Captain Power toys, and then a couple years later I find these on clearance for just a couple bucks each, yeah, I'm going to buy every one they had. All three of them. I had no way of knowing that 30 years later I'd end up with over a dozen of them. Thanks, eBay! In the early 1990s there was a seasonal store that only opened at Christmas, often selling old surplus items. That's where I got one of my Cardi Captain Power figures for just one dollar. This was about five years after the show went off the air and was the last time I ever saw any Captain Power item in a store. And of course, they only had just one of them.
A lot of times people end up with still sealed toys and action figures they don't want, possibly unwanted Christmas and birthday presents, and on occasion these end up being donated to Goodwill and Salvation Army stores. I bought the Star Wars Bespin Guard at Goodwill. I don't know how much I paid for it, but it was just a couple of dollars. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was given to me. They got it from Goodwill. I don't know how much they paid for it, but you can see what's left on the clearance price tag on it where it was originally bought on clearance by someone else before it made its way to Goodwill. Either way, it was cheap for them and free for me. 1998 Kenner Jurassic Park Chaos Effect Trike Dozer Mint and sealed box bought by me eight years later in 2006 at Goodwill for just $1.50. How it got there, I don't know. Star Wars Emergence of the Sith Target Exclusive 2-Pack, Hasbro 2012. Found at a Salvation Army for somewhere around 4 bucks. How it got there, I don't know. 2011 Halo Cortana Action Figure, found at a Salvation Army for $4.57. Star Wars Biggs Dark Lighter action figure, probably donated from a store when it came off the card, still complete in its original plastic bubble, I found it at a Salvation Army for just a dollar. Star Wars 2 lightsabers in one color changing blade electronic lightsaber. I believe these originally sold for over $25, I found this one at a Salvation Army for 12 On occasion I come across some cheap figures on Amazon, but only if it ships directly from Amazon and only if you qualify for free shipping to make it worth it, so they can fill the box up. And of course that particular seller only has just one to sell. Once it's gone the price goes up on everybody else's copy. This is how I got my WWE Zombie page for just $4. Star Wars The Last Jedi Rose, $3 at Amazon. Later I bought another one for $1.81. Star Wars Rogue One Jin Erso, $1.51 at Amazon. The Walking Dead Gareth action figure, found on eBay for $5.25. And let's not forget the rare occasion I would find still sealed action figures at garage sales. Crimson Scarlet, garage sale, $2. 2005 Star Wars Christmas tree ornaments, I probably found it at a garage sale for 50 cents. Maybe it was tossed in an eBay lot, I don't remember. Two Star Wars Trilogy Collection Hasbro 2004 Princess Leia action figures. Found at a garage sale, $2 each. WWF Stephanie McMahon action figure. The figure is safely put away. I found this at a garage sale for $3. This Stephanie McMahon was also bought at the same garage sale for also $3. And there you go. This is how I buy my toys. I rarely pay full price. As I said at the beginning of the video, even if I don't need it, even if I don't want it, even if I don't know what it is, if I know it's cheap enough, I'll buy it. Because I can always resell it later, and if it's cheap enough, or if I wait long enough, I can resell it at a profit later. Only now, I have a YouTube channel, so I'll be showing off a lot of these. You should subscribe. And finally, I'm going to conclude this video with one last story. In the year 2000, I was staying at a relative's house within walking distance of a Walmart. It was 2 a.m. and I was going to get a ride home at 6 a.m., so I decided to walk over to Walmart to see what they had so I can kill some time. I walked down the clearance aisle, and what do I see? A Star Wars Episode I The Phantom Menace Darth Maul double-bladed lightsaber marked down on clearance for just $1.00. To get any full-sized lightsaber, let alone a double-bladed one, for just one dollar was an incredible find, especially 20 years ago in the year 2000 when these things were not yet a dime a dozen. It was an incredible find, and of course, they only had just one. No, I'm just kidding. They had seven. I know you hate me. I know it.